One of the cool things of turning a Nitro Slash into a muscle car is you can drive it right onto the pavement without scratching the bottom. Now, it is a little lower in the front, so I don't recommend that you drive it on gravel or things like that. But you could do, say, dirt oval, uh, something that's smooth. Now, once in a while, uh, because the brake is uh, really strong on this thing, it will flip. Uh, so I'm going to replace the little tubing with a spring. That way I have a progressive brake instead. Because um, if you brake too hard, the car will just uh, spin out. But it doesn't spin out as much as it used to. Uh, but at least uh, it doesn't flip as much. Uh, sometimes it does though, but it usually flips back onto the, uh, onto the tires. That's one example. Uh, but this has been incredibly fun. Uh, it's a nitro slash, so it's not as heavy as some of the other nitros. Uh, well, uh, the monster trucks or anything like that. Uh, you are going to need a drag body, but the drag body that you need, you need one that's wider. So this is a 67 Mustang body. Uh, I do have a fox body. I tried putting the fox body on, but it's not wide enough. So you need one that clears, especially the front wheels, because you actually need steering. Now, I do have the easy start system. I do like it. It starts right up every single time. I know there's some people out there that don't like the easy start system. I have not had an issue with it in this vehicle, so it works. I do have the easy start system in other vehicles haven't really had a problem. I have had to replace the motors on two systems. One of them was just as old as could be. Uh, now, pull start's very good. You do save weight. Weight's not my concern in this vehicle, though. Uh, people that generally screw pull starts because they pull on it too far out. But anyway, easy start system. Uh, the car works. Uh, turned a little too fast, too sharp. Flipped it. Went back to the tires. But I'm going to show you a few turns. So uh, that's about as quick as I can turn without flipping the vehicle. Now keep in mind, this is not an 8 scale race car. Uh, 8 scale touring car would be much lower, more stable. This does have a bandit front end, so you are going to need a bandit front end. And to be honest, you just need the arms and links. That's it. Uh, that's really all you need. Uh, but you can just take the whole bandit front end, just put it on this, uh, on the nitro chassis, and it will work. Uh, but I am going to go over some of the parts uh, in a bit, but you know, here's the vehicle, runs great. There I hit the brake too hard, and that's the reason why it spun out. Uh, so you will spin out the vehicle quite easily if you apply too much brake. Uh, but here, see, a little nicer turn, so I just went softer on the brake, and I have to bring it in to tune it and run it a little more. But as far as the video is concerned, I'm going to show you what parts you need. Uh, and here we go. So this is the uh, Mustang body uh, that I used. Uh, there's the part number, and again, you need a drag body that's wide enough to accommodate for the wheels. A Fox body will not do, it's too narrow, or even the DR10 stock body will not work because it's too narrow. So you need something like this. Uh, but here we go. So I have a sway bar kit, uh, front and rear. This is just a sway bar kit that I got off eBay. It's just a generic kit. Now, GTR long shocks, uh, that's the part number. And I have that little tubing so that the car doesn't bottom out, so the chassis and the body don't scrape all the time. That's what the tubing is for. Uh, but you see the spring rate is actually a very soft rate. With the sway bar, I got away with it. Uh, in the rear, I have the cold weather arms. I also have those uh, heavy-duty shafts, and I have the sway bar. Uh, I'm running 47.5 uh, oil in the front and 35 in the rear. The GTR long shocks, and notice the spring rate is only, these are the double black springs. Uh, it's only a 0.874. Uh, the front, I used to be running really heavy oil, heavy springs, it just bounced a lot. Once I went with the sway bars, I was able to soften up the you know lighter oil, softer springs. Uh, here, uh, you can flip that over. That's for the easy start system. I left it there, it fits well. These are dirt oval wheels for short course and buggy 2.2. So that's something else that you need and just the Bandito tires, uh, short course for the rear, 2.2s for the front. Um, but that's pretty much all you need. So you need those parts uh, and that's what I'm gonna replace with the spring instead. 
And the reason why I was used to run the heavy oil and heavy springs in the front was to avoid flipping over. Uh, but since I added the sway bar, uh, I was able to come down. So I got to a point where I had 80 weight oil in the front. That was insane. Uh, but with the sway bar, you can go lighter. So this is a good baseline. I'm still going to run it, maybe tweak the front shocks a little. Uh, but as of now, this is really all you need. Uh, that being said, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful or at least entertaining, and I'll catch you in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you have not. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,